Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve the most common error that Selenium beginners face while writing their first Selenium script. That is, WebDriver cannot be resolved to a type. So I'm going to explain you how to resolve this error step by step. So here is my Java project. So I created a Java project and created a package. And this is my Java class called first script. And you can see a two lines of code which should launch the Chrome browser. If you need uh, the explanation of this, how to create a Java project and how to create the package and all. So you can, I have already made a video on this in the past. You can find the link for the same in the description below. So now, if you see here, these two lines of code should launch the Chrome browser, right? But we are getting some issues here, compile time errors. You can clearly see that it says WebDriver cannot be resolved by a type, right? So how are we going to resolve this issue now? So the first thing we need to make sure is if our, if our project build path has the Selenium jars added or not. So how do you validate that? So right click on your project, go to build path and click on configure build path. You see the tabs here, right? So click on the libraries. So you can clearly see here under the class path, I don't have any Selenium libraries added, right? So I have to add that Selenium jars. To this class path. So how do we do that? How do we get the jar file? So just go to Google and type in Selenium jars download. And you'll find selenium.website, which is an official Selenium site website. So just click on downloads. And you should be finding here the multiple platforms, right? So I need the Selenium jar files for Java. So you can find the stable version here. So just click on it. So it actually downloads the zip file. In my case, I already downloaded the file. So I just uh, passed the download. So you'll be getting a zip file like this, right? So you can just uh, see it here, right? So once you get the zip file, so pop it onto some location and then extract the zip file. So once you extract the zip file, you will get the files here, jar files like this. So don't worry on the count. It varies from version to version. Right, so all the files, jar, jar files are in a folder extracted now, right? So in earlier versions, there used to be a folder called lib and in that we used to get some jar, jars. But uh, in the latest version, we are getting all the jar files in one folder. So just make sure you extract the file, zip file and all the files are in one folder. Now, let's go back to our project and add all these jar files to our project. How do we do that? Right click on the project, build path, configure build path again, libraries, click on class path. You see an option called extra, add external jars here. So just click on it and navigate to the location where you have your jar files extracted. Do control A, which selects all the jar files. Just click on open, apply and close. So you'll see an entry called reference libraries and uh, where all the jar files which you have added has been displayed here under reference libraries. So which means that we have added all Selenium jar files or Selenium libraries to the Java project build path. So that will be our first step. Still, you see the web driver cannot be resolved to a type error, right? So the second step to resolve this issue is you need to make sure, you know, we have this uh, web driver definitions imported, packages imported here, right? So this, if you see, the library cannot be resolved to a type. This, this is because we added the Selenium libraries to the project build path, that's fine. But this class, which is first script Java class, this doesn't know from all those jar files, it doesn't know where to read this definition of web driver or Chrome driver is from, right? So that's the reason we are actually specifying this package name. That is, we are importing, saying Java class that, uh, hey Java, go and find the definition of web driver in this package or Chrome driver in this package is what we are saying, right? So this will be our second step. But if you observe here, so we used to have two errors, web driver cannot be resolved to a type, Chrome driver cannot be resolved to a type. But in addition to that, it didn't resolve our issue. In addition to that, it actually added two more errors. If you see here, it just says the type org.openqa.selenium.webdriver, which we added is not accessible, is not accessible, right? So what does that mean? So if you are using Java 9 or higher version, you will find a file called 
module info.java under src folder. So here you can see that file, right? Module info.java, what this file is? This file is a key component of the Java platform module system, so which allows developers to define modules and control their access to other models and packages. So in our case, this file was restricting access to the web driver. So thus we are getting this error called the type or open queue and so on, right? Is not accessible. So just comment out these two lines in this file. And if you are gonna use, if your project is huge and uh, like grown huge, and if you have multiple modules and several packages, and if you wanted to, uh, you know, control the access of these packages and modules, then you can uncomment it and uh, write the code accordingly, right? For now, uh, you can just safely comment this two lines in this file as we are writing for first alien script, right? All right, now if you come back to our first script, so all the four errors, right? So we started with two errors and we got four errors and all the four errors are gone. You can see that now, right? So this is because like we are able to, so this file was accessible now and WebDriver was able to find the definition with this statement and PromDriver was able to find the definition from this statement. So we are able to resolve the issue and Coming to the system.set property, right? So we used to actually write, download the executable for the browser and provide the path here and set the path here for that particular browser. We used to do this earlier, but in the latest Selenium versions, you don't need to do this. So that was automatically handled in the Selenium jars itself, right? So we can just comment that line as well. So earlier we used to write two lines of code to launch the browser. Now we don't even need the first line to set the path to the executable. Right, so we just need one line of code to launch the browser. So now let's verify. I just ran the program and you can see the Chrome browser has been launched successfully, right? So this makes sure that the issue has been resolved, right? And along with so say, for example, if you don't even need this file, if you know that you, you are not going to use this module info.java while creating the Java project itself. So you have an option here, here. By default, this comes with, you know, uh, this checkbox is selected. So it just says create module info.java file. So by default, we don't uh, uh, usually uncheck this, but while creating the project, if you see that this checkbox is selected, just uncheck it if you don't need that file so that you don't even need to comment this file after the creation, right? So hope this video actually helped you resolve uh, the error called WebDriver cannot be resolved yet type. If so, please like the video, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.